Hey, I just wanted to show you a couple things about the paddle. I screwed up. Well, I don't know, screwed up. It was just done too quickly. It wasn't done very well. So, um, if you go into the paddle and uh, make sure that the paddle is um, centered on the mouse's position instead of uh, being at the top, at the left hand side, or, you know, extending out from the left hand side of wherever the mouse is, from the mouse's position towards the right, I guess. Uh, so, you know, make sure that you have some sort of mouse, the, the paddle X, if you're doing this tweening, it'll be target X, but it, otherwise it might just be X equals mouse position minus width divided by two. And then if you head over into the game panel where you're checking collisions, in the portion of the collision checker that you're dealing with the ball and the paddle, it should really look like this, and I already have it typed out, so you can just kind of pause the video and check it out, but uh, you should check, this will get rid of one of the glitches where it kind of gets trapped in the paddle. So at this portion, uh, this says like anytime the paddle intersects, just put the ball high enough that it's not going to get stuck. And then flip the DY. And then this portion is the, um, deals with the left and right hand third of the paddle pushing into either to the right side or to the left side. And it does so more correctly than, well, correctly. And previous uh, iterations of this did not especially if you switch the paddle so that it was oriented to the center with respect to the mouse. This collision thing that we did initially doesn't work really anymore then. Okay, so there are just a couple of quick fixes.